Now, most persons ask you to get to find a seed paper that would uh, speedily help you do or find related literature. But what they don't do is tell you where and how to find the seed paper or what even is, especially for uh, a young researcher who is just coming into the world of research and we just begin to throw words at you, find a seed paper, find a near paper, and you're confused. In this video, I want to teach you, I want to show you how to find a seed paper and what exactly is a seed paper and what you can do with a seed paper. And I'll be using chat GPT and the new Google Scholar PDF Reader. That new wonderful AI Chrome extension can do wonders for you when it comes to um, finding seed paper and using the seed paper to get all the papers, other um, research work that are near and very close to uh, the particular topic you are trying to put out or put together. First, a seed paper is any paper, any research work that aligns with your research topic that uh, provides a useful framework or methodology or maybe a method of uh, derivation or uh, made same assumptions like the one you're trying to make in your research or offers valuable insights or findings that is this paper is recent this paper aligns with your topic maybe even aligns with one or more of your research questions and provides a useful a useful framework maybe it uses uh, the kind of method you have in mind to use maybe it makes some kind of um, assumptions that are very close to the one you are trying to make or offers valuable insights that is the findings are, are very close very related to the one you wish to make. This is what we call a seed paper. And a seed paper can help you find other papers that you can look through and um, get to find their gaps and use for your uh, review of literature. And so how do you get to find a seed paper? AI models can help you do that. And that's why I will be taking you to uh, chat GPT and how to find seed papers with chat GPT. Now, to be, be able to find your seed paper with chat GPT, you need to have your research idea. You need to have um, maybe some um, glimpse of what you want to achieve with this research. And so I am a chat GPT and there are a few things I want to be able to find. Okay, so I am here at ChatGPT and I'm going to just um, put up a prompt. I say, I want to research on the effect of um, eccentricity on the exiting dynamics in an ellipsoidal quantum dot. I wish to construct a time uh, independent Schrodinger equation that includes an eccentricity potential. I, I wish to solve the TI. S E to obtain the Eugene value and the Eugene vex, uh, function. Can you find a seed paper for me that is recent and very near to my research um, prospect of uh, prospect? Any word that works. Now to get the best out of it, you need to be sure that you are doing this search on um the web search option of chat gpt and to get the best out of this when it pops up paper you would need to go to um you need to go to your browser that is the chrome web store and um, install go to the chrome web store and search for the new this is the chrome web store get to the Chrome Web Store and when you get there search for Google Scholar uh, PDF extension or PDF reader I think it's somewhere there yes the Google Scholar PDF reader it is a very new um, AI Chrome extension that works wonders and so you click and um, 
you get it installed click somewhere there and you quickly get that extension installed add the extension and uh, once it is added it would pop something would go up there to show that it is installing you wait for it to completely install and when it's done you can now get back to chat gpt and do that search why you're going to do that search don't worry when we click on chat gpt and that search is concluded you would get to find why you needed to use or, or install the google scholar pdf reader before you start or uh, before you begin to do that search so i am back to chat gpt i am now going to search or click on uh, search or click on go or enter or whatever works with you and so chat gpt is going to quickly 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 uh look through the internet uh, look through available research and it's going to make some wonderful suggestions now the beautiful part of this is that it is not hallucinating at this time this is not the chat gpt that hallucinates this is a chat gpt that actually picks up your prompt goes to the um database research databases and pick out an actual research that is closely related to the prompt to that area you are trying to find it's going to get you a seed paper and beautifully to do get you more than one seed papers and so click on the sources and you would find all the seed papers that it has created for you this is now done that's why it's taking me back here and so it's now added and I am now ready to get to use that uh, beautiful extension. And so this is a seed paper. Um, it discusses magneto exiting in ellipsoidal quantum dot. It was published in August of this year. Uh, this is another seed paper I should explore. This is another seed paper. And um, this is another seed paper. And so I want to pick up one of them. And I will just um, click on that paper. It's going to open and opens of course it's opening as a pdf the google scholar chrome extension or google scholar pdf reader chrome extension will quickly take charge of the paper and give me a quick rundown summary of it and allow me to do so many things around that paper that paper is now open now this is not your usual uh, pdf opener this is the google scholar pdf reader that has opened up this paper and this is how you get to know once it opens up it gives you a summary of this paper by uh, the right hand side you could just click here and you'll get the ai outline a quick overview of this um paper what again can this do for you go down somewhere there and you could find the citations the citations available become hyperlink some web link that as you click on them you can get to assess the paper that were um cited one after the other now in an ordinary pdf that is not the google scholar uh, pdf reader when you click on this citation it takes you to the references down below the paper but on the uh, google scholar pdf reader as you click on each of the citation number it opens up the paper like you've had here this is citation number one it opens on the paper so within that same environment you can read up the paper that was cited and you when you also read up uh what was cited in paper two and when you're done you can also read up uh paper three just within the same environment you are assessing so many research papers that is made possible by the google scholar pdf reader and i could assess paper three not just that not just that for each of the cited papers as i click them open i get to see their number of citation i could get to even assess their pdf and so with within just one research paper within that seed paper you can address a whole lot of other similar research work within the same environment you're not living you're not um, going to google scholar to search and search and document no within the same environment 
you are assessing several papers. When I'm done with that, I could go to the next um, citation numbers. And as I click on them, the papers begin to open up just like before. And I, I am seeing several papers all at the same time. And these papers are, were cited by my seed paper. And of course, being cited by my seed paper means that, oh, they could be beautiful sources for my um, review of literature. There could be source papers I can uh, go to look at to have a good grasp of this topic I am trying to research. Now, not just that. Within that same environment, I can download this paper very beautifully. Within that same environment, I am allowed to... Um, it gives me... If this paper is one of the papers, I want to, of course, be in my seed paper, I need to cite it as part of my work. And here it is. I can get the citation so easily within that same environment. I can assess this paper on Google Scholar by clicking this. It would immediately direct me to Google Scholar. Beyond that still, I can um, download this paper. I can download this paper very fast. I can even print it if I want to print it. And if um, I am unable to read it on this um, on this interface, on the light mode, I can change the mode. I can change the mode to a dark mode where I can um, see it better. Um, I could change to um, the night mode where everything becomes dark and I'm having a beautiful um, a view of this paper. It changes the mode within that same environment. Uh, what again can it do for me? I could set this um, AI to open up any PDF whatsoever, not only a PDF that is available on Google Scholar. Yes, it has that option. You, you can Automatically, when you open a PDF in Google Scholar, you can actually set it to open a P any PDF whatsoever. That is, any PDF you open on your device, it immediately takes charge of that PDF and begin to apply its AI abilities to that PDF. And you could do so many things around it, like I mentioned, with just one seed paper, you are getting to find several other papers several other related papers several other papers that can be used that can uh, that is very useful for your uh, review of literature what more can this do you can um, also assess each part of the paper just by clicking on any part of this it begins to open each part of the paper just like that so you could just click and the next part of the paper opens up and you click next and the next part of the paper opens up in that order and so with chat gpt and the new google scholar pdf reader you can get to um, find the seed paper access the seed paper read through the seed paper find similar other papers and begin to develop your um, related literature or uh, papers in just one single click so it's taking away the work of going to going to several research databases to find a paper it's taking away the work of having to spin through several papers before you could find how they connect and how they can um, help your work just with one click you can get to find everything that can aid you put out that beautiful research work. Seed paper, chat GPT, and Google Scholar PDF Reader can supercharge your research. If you like this video, like my um, channel, follow my channel so that you get the next beautiful video on AI tools for research writing. This channel is dedicated to giving you the best simplified AI models that helps you put out research papers and ethically.